guys, Mike here, Head Trader, True Trading Group, August 6th. Two lessons I'm going to cover with you guys today. One has to do with uh, a mental lesson about chasing. Okay, and all probably one of the biggest problems that some traders have is chasing a stock as it runs higher. Um, and I'm going to go over with you guys a little bit of a mental lesson that I went through today on PTGX. Um, I ended up trading PTGX. I made a little bit of money in it, nothing crazy. Um, but there's a mental lesson in my trading with this stock on the day that I want to talk to you about with, with regards to chasing. And it's going to lead me into a, another lesson about how to know that it's okay to trust a lunchtime breakout. Okay. It's kind of like twofold because it's the same trade. Um, it's the same stock. It's the same setup. And there's two lessons that we can go over from it. I'll start by saying I do not trade lunchtime breakouts. I don't like them. They tend to fail more often than not. The reason for that is volume is typically lighter during lunchtime. Lunchtime is usually around 12 to 2 uh, Eastern. That is usually the lunchtime session. The time when – oh, so well, let me go back. So I don't like lunchtime breakouts because they tend to fail more often than not um, and they don't necessarily give you as much follow-through. Um, and the reason for that is because volume is lighter. So when it's time to trust a lunchtime breakout is when the volume that comes in on that break through the high of the day is the heaviest volume the stock's experienced on the whole day. That's what happened on PTGX. And there was a beautiful entry opportunity in PTGX right in front of $9. Now, the stock ended up going to 11.50 in the afternoon that I passed on. And I passed on it because I didn't like the time of day. But... I could have went after it because of that volume that came in. It was the heaviest volume of the day, and it just further um, proves that point. Um, and it, it did work out, and I never got another opportunity to, to enter the trade, and that's when I felt like I was chasing, and that leads me into that mental lesson about chasing. So let's get to it. Let's get to this PTGX chart, and let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Here's PTGX, and here we go. You can see here was the previous high. Okay, and we broke through that high just before noon. Okay, lunchtime breakout. I don't like lunchtime breakouts. We just went over that. They tend to fail more often than not. However, it happened to have been the heaviest volume the stock has had experienced the entire day up to that point. Don't look here because the stock wasn't there yet. So from here on to the left, that was the heaviest volume the stock had the whole day. So that's your signal that it's okay to trust this breakout because of that. And you can see we pulled ourselves all the way back in to retest that previous high. And that previous high lined up beautifully with VWAP. And then as we draw our Fibonacci retracement level out, you can see it was not just VWAP, but it was also the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. So here's your previous high. We break through it. Heaviest volume of the day, pullback, 38.2 FIB, lines up with the previous high of the day, lines up with VWAP. There was your buying opportunity, guys. There it was, right there, was your beautiful, extremely low risk, excellent risk reward ratio on that entry point. You stop out of the trade if it breaks back below nine bucks. Um, I, I could have pulled the trigger on, I just didn't like the time of day, but. That heaviest volume the stock had the whole day was the signal that it was safe to trust that breakout. And you can see we got this big continuation move. Now, I just could not bring myself to buy this thing anywhere in here, guys. I just couldn't do it. I could not bring myself to buy this anywhere in here. I just felt like I was chasing the entire time. Um, I was waiting for a pullback back down into this area to test this support level one more time during lunchtime. Then I can get long. And as we come out of lunchtime, I can add to the position as we volume increases and you look for the stock to give you continuation. But that didn't happen. I never got that pullback. Okay. And all throughout here, I felt like I was chasing the stock because if I entered this stock right here, or let's say I entered it right here, Where's your stop loss? You have to give it back down to this support level, at least to VWAP. 
So I just didn't like my risk reward on this trade, risking down to VWAP at least, possibly even back down to that previous high of the day with the high of the day sitting right here at 1050, you run the possibility of during lunchtime double topping and rolling over. So I just didn't like my risk reward on the setup. And I was uncomfortable entering the position at that point and I felt like I was chasing. If you find that you're uncomfortable in the position, guys, you have to let it go. Do not pull the trigger if you are uncomfortable because when you're uncomfortable, you get emotional. When you trade with emotions, you make mistakes. When you make mistakes, you lose money. Okay? You have to always be comfortable in the trade. You have to enter positions and enter trades when you are comfortable. Okay? Not when a chat room is talking about it, not when people are talking about it on Twitter. When you are comfortable, OK, and I wasn't comfortable entering PTGX until after two o'clock when I can much better identify my risk reward on the trade. And that is where I will now get into. So now here is your new high of the day. So here's no, this is no longer your new high. This is your high day. There's your high of the day. You can see we broke through the high of the day on real nice volume. Again, heavy volume. The stock traded on the day up to that point. We broke through it now. I can say to myself, okay, let's draw my Fibonacci. Let's see, is there anything there on the Fibonacci? Now you see the 23.6 Fibonacci level lines up with the previous high of the day. I said on a pullback, I'm going to get long in front of that previous high. And that's exactly what I did, guys. I got long right there on PTJX. So I'll take it to my trade announcements. Here we are, guys. At 2.12 p.m., long PTGX, 10.94, stop loss, 10.35. Let's go back to the chart. So here I am long right here, risking right down back below that previous high is my risk. And my reward is potentially breaking through the highs and continuing higher. You can see the stock had a lot of trouble up here at 11.50. I ended up taking profit off at 11.40 and then 11.20. And I'm still holding on to a piece looking for continuation tomorrow. Um, I just like how the stock was an all day runner. We haven't had one in really in quite some time. The volume was consistently increasing throughout the entire day. And we just broke up into a very large gap on the daily chart. I'll take you to it. Let me delete all this. Here we are on the daily chart, guys. You can see we broke up into this gap. On the daily chart closed above it. I'm gonna look for a little bit more continuation. Um, on this PTG, PTGX, I'm looking for the uh, the 200 day moving average guys on this, which actually I don't have that on my chart. Let me add it for you guys so you can see it real quick. Bear with me, guys. I'm just going to add the 200 day real quick so you can see it. Okay, there's your 200 day, the purple lines, your 200 day. So I'm looking to see if we can get up to this 200 day. I think maybe we got a chance to squeeze up there. I think there's a short position that got stuck in this today. Um, and we'll see if we get that squeeze up action. So I'm still holding on to one last piece. Uh, but I sold the bulk of my position at 1120, took some off at 1140. Um, and I'm still holding on to some. So it was a small trade. It was a small gain. But that's not really the point of the video. The, the really, what I want to make sure that I get across to you guys in this video is not is is really trying to not feel like you're chasing and if you do feel like you're chasing don't pull the trigger because if you if you say to yourself oh man i like the setup but i, I kind of feel like i'm chasing then you are chasing don't pull the trigger because you're not going to be comfortable in the trade you just have to wait and hope the stock gives you another entry opportunity where you won't be chasing and that's what i did in ptgx i waited until the stock broke through the high of the day pulled back in found support, I jumped in and I was able to make a profitable trade. Okay. Emotion free, risk free, because if I had entered the stock here, sure. Would it have worked out? Yes. Yeah. Obviously this time hindsight's 2020 and it would have worked out. But if the stock double topped right here at 130 and then rolled back over, I'd be, I'd be fuming. I'd be pissed. I chased the stock up, got denied right at the high of the day and we rolled over and I would have took a loss. So I could have easily just have been upset with the trade. So you have to make sure that you put yourself in positions where you are comfortable, okay? So what to take away from the day? Again, 
Lunchtime breakouts, I don't like them unless it is a company with the heaviest volume of the stocks traded on the entire day. Um, and don't chase, guys. Okay, you just have to wait for an opportunity where you are comfortable in the trade. When you're comfortable, it's easier to put the emotions to the side and just focus on the chart and focus on what's in front of you and focus on your risk reward. Okay, guys, tomorrow's TTG Tuesday. Come join me. Go to our website, truetradinggroup.com. Sign up for TTG Tuesday. It's free. Every Tuesday, I open up the True Trading Group chat room to everybody for free. Come in, say what's up. Come trade with me. I love to trade with you guys. All right. Hopefully, I see some of you, um, some of you guys in chat tomorrow. Take it easy.